Well, it is a sight seldom seen Governor Bruce Rauner and Mayor Rahm Emanuel together. They teamed up to announce the arrival of almost 300 new Chicago factory jobs, but still seem very much at odds on school funding and a state budget. Here's CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. I'm good. Yourself? Family good? A handshake between Governor Rauner and Mayor Emanuel. The two sharing credit for luring 286 new jobs to Hegwish when a new Flexingate auto parts plant opens in two years. We are fortunate in 2017 to have the vision and the leadership of Governor Bruce Rauner and Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Tax breaks from the city and state helped attract the new plant, but no sign of similar cooperation on CPS funding. The mayor still accusing the state and the governor of shortchanging schools. 500 school superintendents from around the state have come together and said Illinois can no longer continue to cut back on education investment. They have to stabilize it. They have to grow it. In return, Governor Rauner charges Emanuel has been AWOL in the Springfield fight for statewide school funding reform, which would produce more dollars for CPS. The mayor should get involved in pushing to make sure that the new funding formula gets done. He has influence in the Democratic caucus. I hope he'll get involved directly. Uh, he hasn't been doing as much of that, I believe, as, as I would like to see him. But Rounder got a boost for his pro-business reforms. Good afternoon. When a Hegwish businessman talked about their losing battle against Indiana. We've got too much development going across the state line. They're, they have no vacancy and we've got a lot. We should be one of the best places in America to grow a manufacturing job. That's what we're working to achieve. Meantime, in Springfield, the wrangling continues over the grand bargain budget compromise. Governor Rauner says the two sides are still talking, but Senate President John Cullerton says Democrats have gone just about as far as they can, with Rauner reportedly objecting to a workers' comp proposal that he says doesn't cut business costs enough. And remember, the legislative session ends May 31st, uh, with the state budget hanging in the balance along with the futures of a lot of politicians. Yeah. Time is a ticking here and still no progress at all. Tick tock. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Thanks.